And welcome back. Now, this is probably becoming my favorite show this season, yeah. hands down. Of course. Um, but it's about to get even better because next up we have two wonderful women to teach us a little bit about the power of crystals and healing. So let's welcome Heather and Timmy from Energy Muse. Woo! Woo! Crystals. I brought my own crystal oh, today. Beautiful. I've recently okay. started, so maybe you can tell me about these later, but they're Absolutely. supposedly bringing me focus. Those are amazing crystals, and that's our favorite topic to talk about, so Good. here yeah. we go. So uh, you girls were friends before, since you were very little. Yes. How did this partnership, how did it become a partnership? Yeah. Friendship? We started, we were friends since first grade. And you know, Aww. we used to cause a lot of chaos, but we've learned to hone it in on this business and helping a lot of people learn about crystals. And that's really what we are here to do now. So we're okay. really lucky. And you've known each other how long? Since first grade. Ooh. First I know. I know. Like two yeah. years. You yeah. Exactly. <laughs> crystals keep your friendship clean and yeah, clear. They do. They yeah. do. They do, absolutely. So tell us about these girls. I'm so, my part, Purple is my favorite color, so can we start with the purple one? Please? Absolutely. <laughs> so I want to tell you guys a secret, and mm -hmm. you probably already know it, but if you think that a crystal or a rock is going to change your life, you guys are going to be disappointed. Ooh. Because the only person that can change your life is you. Okay, so that's just the first thing. I think crystals are getting a bad rap out there as this very magic kind of oriented thing. And really, at the end of the day, a crystal is the energy of the earth. And this is a tool. And so it's another tool to help you. People have their faith, they have their belief systems, they have yoga, they have meditation, they have sound healing. This is another way to help you as a touchstone, as something that, you know what, it's really pretty. And you know what, if you like it just because it's pretty, that's okay too. Mm -hmm. So how do you work with a crystal to help you get more grounded or help you feel like you're not alone or help to bring you up? So this is an amethyst, and amethyst, amethyst has a reputation of being the stone of intuition. <gasps> Yay! There you go. <laughs> bump, 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 bump. See how intuitive she is. Yeah. yeah. Once again. Right on cue. Oh. Ooh. We probably need this about. Uh, right? <laughs> so you know, oh, how do we it. tap into our intuition by just maybe even sitting and breathing for a couple minutes? Because. The whole thing about crystals are to help us become silenced, to help us to check in, to help us to take a few minutes to breathe and reconnect, mm -hmm. not only to the energy of the earth, but to reconnect to ourselves. So That's it's like a medium. The, it's like its own little kind of... It's, um, it's a tool. It's a yeah. tool to help us on the path. And every ancient civilization since the beginning of time have used these tools the, for something, the Egyptians used to ground them and put them on, put um, eye shadow. And mm. the Roman warriors used to put garnet on their body to help shield them. So Ayurvedic medicine grounds them up and uses them and as medicine or puts them on our chakras. So something doesn't last through time if it doesn't have anything. So how do we use them in modern times? Well, liquid crystal display, our LCD screen. So crystals keep kind of reinventing themselves. So Ooh, I didn't know yeah. that. Let's go really, really click quick, just like the cliff notes of each one of these yes. that are left. So we have the amethyst. So we have amethyst. Intuition. What's the green Intuition. one? So the green one is similar to your green one. Yes. And this is fluorite. Fluorite. Which is a stone of peace. So what's cool about crystals is if you look at them, they kind of tell you what they do. It's really mm -hmm. kind of simple. I mean, if you, you look at it. You feel a certain way. You, exactly. you feel peaceful mm -hmm. and it looks like peace, okay? This is the stone I feel every single person needs to know about. It's called shungite. shungite. It's known as the miracle molecule of the 21st century. It's believed to help EMFs, but it's, help, um, it's used in Russia mm -hmm. to help detoxify the water and purify it and cleanse. So if you're in Russia and you're in a hospital, they are drinking shungite infused wow. water. Wow. So wouldn't it be interesting if mother nature brought one of our most healing stones and it kind of looks like coal it yeah, doesn't yeah. really look it's so like sparkly. it's called Beautiful. yeah it's shungite so check it out look on the internet okay. there's a lot of research on this mineral uh, so we just those two and then we gotta okay. go and we want to show us crystal uh-huh the stone of clarity 
This wow. one is the um, selenite, the highest <laughs> vibrational stone on the planet. It's beautiful. No, I love wow. this light. I wear this every day. It's yeah. And we have to talk about your book because they asked you to write a book, right? He they came to you. to us and said, will you write a book about crystals? The main <gasps> ingredient is crystals and they're recipes or rituals that you can use to learn and work with crystals throughout your life. That's and awesome. You're check this out. Very easy. When is it out and when, where can we find it? October 17th, mm -hmm. it's available on Amazon and um, you can pre-buy it now. Ooh, That's you've got, a, okay. you've got a lot of uh, good quotes <laughs> on the back. Yes. Thank you so much, girls. Thank you. Thank you.